In the charming Surrey village of Chiddingfold is one of the old country factories where craftsmen still rule, and they make walking sticks. For many years, sticks were cut and sent to London to be prepared. Eighty years ago, however, Mr. Lintock decided to do the complete job, and his factory still carries on. We've often wondered how the crooks were bent without splitting, but just ten minutes in hot sand makes them sufficiently pliable. Sticks often started life crooked, so they go to the kiln preparatory to being sent on the straight and narrow path. An eye like an orc is needed for this business, and the time allowance is a minute and a half per stick. Then the crook must be trimmed and the stick lengthened. They call it lengthening when they cut a bit off to shorten it, so they lengthen it to shorten it. it doesn't sound right to me. No, it does not. And so does this knot. It's a knot trimming machine that smooths out the knot. Not too bad. This little machine tapers the end, ready for the ferrule. Now they're cleaned with very fine sandpaper, which takes off the surplus bleach. All these men have been making sticks ever since they left school. To us, a stick is just a stick. To them, it's the result of years-old craftsmanship. The last job of all, ferruling. The origin of walking sticks is unknown, but shepherds probably began the habit now carried on by hikers. And here's enough sticks for 20,000 hikers. The end of another day for old Tom Mann, the engineer. 79 years old and he can still dash about the countryside on his one-man-powered tricycle. 